Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy into beats coming at you in another video about um, basically how to use the mixer. Sorry about that. So, if before I start, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys think about my content. Also, <clears throat> I'm starting, I've started a series where I teach beginners or basically anyone who wants to know anything about this interface and the platform. So, you can check the videos and the links in the cards and also watch until the end to check out um the other videos as well so without any further ado let me start so what i'll be teaching today is basically this thing over here you get what i'm saying how to set it up and everything how to use it how to send tracks from your channel rack to the mixer and then start adding effects i haven't done anything the beat that i have here so far i just made the beat and then i arranged it um I can play it for you guys. So here it goes. fires the drip so anyway <clears throat> here's how it goes here's how you guys use the mixer so as you guys know over here this button over here this is your playlist this is your piano roll so for example your piano roll you all know the function your playlist is where you pack all your tracks and your elements of your beat here you have your melody you have your bass your kick your clap i have two kicks here they play at different times but yeah, this is your playlist, this is your piano roll, so piano roll is where you put in the notes. So as you have here, this is the notes for the bass. You get what I'm saying? That's the function of the piano roll. Channel rack is this thing over here. Channel rack, you access it by pressing the third button, this one, here. So now... To link the channel rack and send maybe the bass, the kick, or whatever to. Oh, never mind this, by the way. I had someone record vocals. I just don't know what to do with them. I need something better. But anyway, to send these elements over here to the mixer, they basically, as you can see, they all have numbers number one, two, three, four. So if I'm gonna add something right now, like. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, just for example, I'm gonna add. I actually need another hi hat. Take this. You drag it to your channel rack, right? Now I have these new hi hats over here, and then. With these new hats over here, I want to send them to the mixer. So when I get here, I'm using a mouse. So that little button in between, you can just scroll it. So you see what happens as I scroll here. It sends the element to the designated mixer that I want it to go to. If you're lazy sometimes, you can just right click, type in value. So I want to take it to a mixer number, number 9. So I'm going to just put in the 9 there, press enter. Now this is where these hi hats are. You get what I'm saying? Then, but yeah, y'all get the trip. But anyway, now that I have these hi hats sent over here, I was just showing you guys. I don't really want. Um, we'll use the bass, which is number two. So, or the melody. The melody is number one, as you guys can see. The melody is this thing over here in the playlist so with the melody let's say now i want to add effects you come here Ed i can see edison is already open um, i don't think i need it but let me leave it here for now over here it's your equalizer so if i'm gonna kill this all the way down i'm killing the bass these are your mids and these are your highs you get what i'm saying 
it's just an equalizer so if maybe it, I, um i'm jamming to the melody and as i can hear right now it's clashing with w- with the bass what i can do is reduce the bass of the melody either from here it's just an equalizer guys y'all will see as y'all get to um use it oh and by the way so this is the equalizer over here and these slots over here these are for your effects so when you're recording vocals what you do is you come here i usually press this one uh, uh you, you see, see now, now but it's, but delaying. it's delaying but like but yeah like, yeah you come you here come again now it's, now set, it's up. set up i can, I can. Yeah. yeah now, now um, um, it's, because it's because let me just switch this off. off let me go back now i was able to do that because i have a microphone attached to my laptop i use a usb mic so that's how you basically um once you load once your microphone is connected either through usb or sound card or whatever you come here it'll show you you that's the input you come here again this is the output then i'm sure y'all are probably asking what this button is over here so if i have effects over here and i want the effects to be put in as i record you put it on pre if i don't want the effects to be put in as i record i put it on post that's what this button does over here so with this slot that you have over here um this is for mixer number one which is the melody right so i can add parametric equalizer you know which is an effect to basically equalize any frequencies that you wanna tune you understand what i'm saying so i wanna add a high pass over here for now that was just to take out the bass so that it doesn't clash with the 808 you understand what i'm saying i can add grass beat excuse my laptop it's a bit slow <sighs> But like yeah, while it's still trying to load, I'll just explain this. These knobs that you have over here, or these buttons, they look like buttons to me, is where you put on, off, you understand what I'm saying? I have an equalizer on it. If I want to switch it off for this effect in this slot, I just put it off, put it on. So with cross beat, there you have it. Um, I can just come here. Cross beat is just another effect by the way you guys can just play around with these effects on the mixer to learn cross beat i can just use this one to slow down I think I'm gonna run with it. No ways. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that wow actually that's what cross beat does i just took the beat then put on half speed then if i want to switch it off i can just come over here then i press play you understand i'll switch it off for now i can add a fruity love filter fruity love filter where you at i can add a fruity love filter right click over here listen to this so 
so what the fruity la filter does it we call it the underwater effect so it took i don't know if you guys heard that tip but it goes up and then goes underwater swims comes back up again let me try a different ones maybe you'll hear it So that's another thing you can do as well on the mixer. So um, to recap everything, so far we know that we can send elements from the channel rack to the mixer to any designated number that you want. And then this is for your effect and this is your equalizer. And then when you want to set up the whole microphone setup like I did right now, you come here, choose one there, come here, choose that one over there. You start hearing yourself. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, um, to carry on with what I was doing, um, these buttons that you can see over here, it's basically an on and off button. You understand? Then this channel over here is the master channel. This channel controls everything. So if I reduce the volume here, it'll kill everything. As compared to if I just reduce the volume of maybe this the hi-hat whatever's here only it gets affected you understand so yeah oh by the way i haven't mixed and mastered this beat i'm gonna make a separate video where i actually mastered the beat i just made it and then i arranged it so yeah this is the master channel so whatever effect that you put in this slot it will be applied to the whole track and then these buttons over here this is for your panning so if i take this here for example if you can listen it's playing to the left it's playing to the right it's up to you how you wanna pan it then uh i don't wanna confuse you but these things also uh, i'll explain that in another video but like yeah guys that's how you use the mixer and that's how you access it using the channel rack as well i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope this video is very informative and uh, yeah um if you guys want to listen to some of my music i have my link tree inside the link of the description also i'm gonna make another video where i actually mix and master this beat but i don't think i'll be talking throughout maybe i will i don't know but like keep in touch for that as well and thank you for watching cheers